Welcome to the UCMDB New Discovery Demo Video. This video will introduce you to the Kubernetes event-based discovery job, allowing you to monitor the deployment changes in your Kubernetes cluster. We will take a Kubernetes pod as an example to simulate creating and deleting operations in a real production environment. Now let's go to the UCMDB new UI to add a new HTTPS credential and fill in the service token. Then we'll go to the UCMDB adapter UI to add the URI endpoint of Kubernetes cluster to the URI endpoint configuration.xml file. This configuration file will be paired by the manual URI endpoint discovery job that will create a new URI endpoint CI to trigger the Kubernetes discovery by RESTful API job. After finishing the Kubernetes discovery by RESTful API job, Let's go to the UCMDB new UI to check the all discovered pods. As you can see, we have many pods are discovered, but there is not one called CMS-demo. Now let's create a new pod called CMS-demo in this Kubernetes cluster. This is the content of the YAML file. We create a new pod with this YAML file. Use the kubectl get pods command to list the created pod. After a few seconds, the Kubernetes event-based discovery job should capture the event and create a new pod in our UCMDB. Let's query the pods with the Kubernetes pods view in UCMDB new UI to see the result. As you can see, the pod CMS-demo has been created successfully. Now let's delete the CMS-demo pod from the Kubernetes cluster with the kubectl delete pod command. Then we run the kubectl get pods command to make sure the CMS-demo has been deleted successfully. After a few seconds, the Kubernetes event-based discovery job should capture the event and remove the CMS-demo pod from UCMDB. Let's query the pods with the Kubernetes pods view in UCMDB new UI to see the result. As you can see, the pod CMS-demo is not available anymore. That's all for today's demo. Thank you for watching.